This video will show you how to install an altitude kit for operating your Westinghouse iGen 4500 and 4500 dual fuel generator at altitudes over 2000 feet. When installing your altitude kit, make sure you're using the right kit for your altitude. To perform this installation, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, adjustable wrench, standard pliers, a socket wrench, a six inch socket extension, an eight millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter socket, and a 14 millimeter socket. Place the generator on a flat surface in a well ventilated area and make sure any attached propane tank is closed and disconnected from the generator. First step is to siphon the gas out of the fuel tank. Next, turn the fuel switch off or Turn the switch to propane on the dual fuel model. Flip the red switch to the stop position. Start the disassembly by removing the battery cover and disconnecting the battery. Now remove the one bolt and four screws on the left side engine service panel and remove the panel. Keep track of the screws and bolts as you disassemble the generator housing. Remove the spark plug boot from the spark plug. Now we're going to remove the left generator cover. Start by removing the three bolts at the bottom of the cover and the two side screws on the control panel frame. Remove the three rubber plugs and the three screws on top. Remove the rubber plug and the three screws on the back left corner of the generator. Remove the two screws on the left hand side of the control panel frame. Finally, remove the two bolts on the left hand side that attach to the handles. To remove the panel, first, pull it out from under the black muffler at the back of the generator. Next, pull the panel out from underneath the control panel frame and pull the panel free. Pull the clear plastic tube from the bottom of the carburetor and place the end of it in a gasoline safe container. Loosen the carburetor drain screw and empty the gasoline out of the float bowl. When the float bowl is empty, Retighten the drain screw. Now we're going to remove the air cleaner housing. Start by removing the crankcase breather tube and vapor tube. Now remove the two bolts on the cover of the air cleaner. Remove the air cleaner cover and the foam filter inside. Remove the two bolts inside the air cleaner. Now pull the air cleaner off the carburetor and remove it. Unlock the lower air cleaner cover and remove it. Remove the foam filter and the metal plate inside. Remove the three bolts inside the lower air cleaner and remove the air cleaner. Remove the bolt from the bottom of the carburetor float bowl. There may be some residual fuel left in the carburetor, so have a rag handy to clean up any spills. Remove the gasket on the front of the carburetor and remove the carburetor from the engine. It's a tight fit, so you may have to slowly rock the carburetor back and forth on the two studs that hold it to the engine. After the carburetor is removed, use the flathead screwdriver to carefully remove the jet. Make sure the main nozzle stays in the carburetor. If it falls out, replace it in the correct orientation. Install the new jet into the carburetor. As mentioned earlier, make sure you're installing the correct jet for your model of generator and for the altitude. After you install the new jet, don't throw away the old one. If they are damaged, replace the O-ring where the bowl meets the carburetor and the bolt seal on the bottom of the carburetor with the parts supplied in the kit. Rebolt the bowl onto the bottom of the carburetor. To reassemble the generator, replace all of the parts in the reverse order that they were removed. This last step is for dual fuel generator owners. Replace the brass jet on your propane regulator with the appropriate model that came with your kit. Choose the appropriate jet for your altitude. Time to check the installation. Move the generator to a well-ventilated location, start the generator, and make sure it's running properly. If you have any troubles installing the high altitude kit, contact our service team at 1-855-944-3571 or contact us through the website listed below.